Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how to use RDP protocol to access your Ubuntu desktop on an Oracle ARM virtual machine. I have blog post to show you the all steps. And also I summarized those five steps here in this video and going to show you how to do it step by step with the troubleshooting process. Now let's start it. First, let's go over the steps. Step one, just log into Oracle Cloud and then create a Ubuntu instance. And then do system update and you will need to create a new user when you use a XRTP desktop login. After that, you just need to to command install Ubuntu desktop and uh, XRTP software. So you will need to verify port 3389. There's some tricky part here. Also, there's a firewall blocked 3389. So we have to fix that issue on this Oracle Ubuntu image. So create a compute instance. You will need to change the image. We are using Ubuntu 20.04. Also, of course, you're going to change the shape. I would suggest to use uh, two virtual CPU and 12 gig RAM. This type of shape should be enough. At this step, you need to have your own SS keys, or you can generate a key pair. If you don't know how to do it, check my previous video. You should be able to find out the guide how to generate your SSH keys and use PuTTY to log in. You can search my video channel to find out more regarding Oracle Cloud videos. I already have my own, so I'm going to use my own pri private key. After that, you can create your instance. In a couple of seconds, you will get a public IP. Then you will use your certificate and the login through that public IP. Once the system status changed to running, a green icon, then you should be able to use your favorite uh, SSH client to log in. So I'm using Mobile X10, so which I already saved my public key into the configuration. Now, next step is going to do the system update and uh, add a new user for that desktop to log in. To do that, just issue the command. It won't take too long, so we can wait here to wait it to be done. After that step, so we can add a new user. Type the password. So this user is going to be used to log in when we use using XRDP to connect to it. So we finished our second step. Now we're going to do our third step. We're going to install Ubuntu Desktop and then XRDP. So what we can do is we can put those two commands together. So we can run it in one time. So this step probably will take you a couple of minutes, five minutes to get it done, depending on the resources you gave to your instance. 
So to make my video shorter, I'm gonna pause my video recording and once the installation completed, I will continue. So the installation has been completed. Uh, it's a very standard process. Install the Ubuntu desktop, install XRTP. Now you think everything should be fine. You should be able to connect to it. But if you try, you will see the connection won't be successful. There's a lot of reasons why it's not successful. That's why I'm making this video show you uh, how to troubleshooting this process, why it's not working, and how we can make it working. First thing, you want to check the services. So, XRDP is working. It's a small permission operation, not permitted uh, error message, but that shouldn't affect the process running. So it's running well. Um, let's take a look at the port, make sure port 3389 is listening. So if you want to use net state, you can grab 3389 to see the command is not there, then we have to install these tools. That should then take you more than five minutes. After that, just check the status. So now you found one thing. So they are running only on TCP 6. They're not only on TCP 4. So that brings out the first troubleshooting. So we need to make sure that it's running on TCP 4 so we can connect to using TCP version 4 IP address. So we're going to change the settings. The standard settings is the port 3389. We're going to change it to this one to make sure it's uh, TCP 3389 working. That's a TCP version IPv4 the port. Let's restart the service. Now we can check it again. Now it's only on TCP version 4. It's listening 3389. Let's try it again. You will find it still will not working. But if you tell that local host port 3389, that port is open. So why you are not able to connect it from the internet. That is because building IP tables firewall enabled on Ubuntu ARM version. So what we're going to do, we're going to disable the IP tables and clean out all rules in the IP tables configuration. Then we're going to try it again. So here is what IP table looks like. And what we can do, we can use a command IP tables dash F to flush all those rules. And then we can check it again. Now it looks like empty. So once you flushed out all rules, you can give it try to do that connection again. You were having problem. That is because we didn't configure this lure allow 3389. So now we are able to connect to it. So there's two things. One is NSG Network Security Group on the Oracle Cloud side, you need to allow 3389 that port running. So which I already created that, allow 3389. The second thing you need to flush IP tables. There's a built-in IP table firewall lures to block that remote connection 3389. 
and also once you flushed it, you may want to save the configuration because if you didn't save it, then next time when you reboot it, those rules will come back again. So that will block your 3389. So we got the login XRDP login interface. So we will use the username we created before to log in. So now you can see the welcome wizard from the Ubuntu desktop. You can do next, next, next. Then we can start using Ubuntu. You can try Ubuntu YouTube. So one thing you will notice, there's no voice, no sound. So you can play the YouTube, but while it's running really fast, I don't see any issues, but there's no sound coming out. So that will be my next video I'm going to show you how to fix the sound issue how to get the ubuntu desktop with the sound forwarding from remote to your local so keep tuned if you found this video has something interesting useful information please give me a thumb up also if you haven't subscribed my channel please do you will get update next week when I have a new episode released. Thank you for watching.